this is an environment right now where some would say, oh, it's easy to say buy stocks now because they're cheaper than they were five or six or seven or nine months ago. But why is it that we can expect this to be more of a bottom here and not retest the lows that we saw or perhaps even set new ones? Well, yeah, I, I actually do think we'll, we'll it's, I think a, a buying opportunity is coming, but I do think it's actually coming at, at lower levels. I, I do think the market is still uh, too expensive. I mean, it's, it's one thing for the stock market to uh, uh, have sold off a lot. That's great. Uh, but the problem is that uh, after uh, uh, the market still has to become inexpensive. I mean, just be, it was so expensive uh, at the end of last year, you know, 22 times earnings over three times sales uh, that it has to fall further uh, for, to, for to get more back in line with a fairly valued uh, level uh, to be to actually price in uh you know the 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 the, the fed tightening that's already taken place and i think the likely uh recession that's coming so i do think a great buying opportunity is coming but i do think it will come after we reach uh, new lows uh, we trade below october's lows so so if if we're not there yet that that implies that maybe you can wait a little bit before getting back into this trade right now. What exactly then is the place or where are the places that you would invest if those lows do come to fruition in the next coming weeks or months? Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the places to, uh, well, the places to hide right now are still in those, you know, the, the defensive names, especially the, the, the high dividend payers, ones that are not just paying high dividends, but have a, a record of, of uh, increasing that dividend every year. Uh, that's a good place to hide. Gold is starting to break out on, on a technical basis. Uh, so that's, that's something uh, to look at as well. But on a longer term basis, uh, the ones you want to look at, of course, are the great companies great free cash flow uh, that are already getting cheap. And, and so a stock like a, a Google or Alphabet, uh, this stock's already getting cheap. I mean, it's trading about 16 times earnings. Could it get a little bit cheaper? Uh, yes, but uh, you can nibble on that stock now and then and, and, and really back up the truck later on uh, and, and really come out really well on that one. Where other stocks like Microsoft are still uh, expensive. Uh, I'm sorry, it's still somewhat expensive on a historical basis. When we talk about stocks, though, like Alphabet or Meta Platforms or Apple or Microsoft, the interest rate discussion has to be a big part of it because of the valuation argument, the valuation decline has come because of higher interest rates from the Fed. Is there a fair value as a market strategist that you can assess for the S&P 500 if you don't have a clear and, and, and really certain view on where the Fed is going to be with regard to interest rate policy in the next, say, six to 12 months? Well, I mean, history tells us that if you don't have zero interest rates and, and you don't have a, a massive QE program, you're not going to have 18 to 22 times earnings valuations. It's going to be more like 16 times earnings. Uh, and, you know, pro the problem is that takes the S&P below 3,500, especially if earnings are going to come down. Uh, the other thing, of course, uh, that we have to... Uh, the play in, in, into the factor here or factor into the to the market uh, is you know what is the Fed going to do with those interest rates so you know e even if they pause are they going to pivot and I just don't see that happening uh, unless we get something to really break down in the marketplace so uh, you know when you say fair value we also have to understand that you know stock markets when they swing for especially from a very overvalued level like we were this time last year they don't stop at fairly value they always swing a little bit to the other side there's a reason for this it doesn't just happen by chance uh, because so much leverage builds up. Uh, and, and we saw that last year with the record margin debt. That margin debt has shrunk, but it's still high. So we, we're probably going to have to get to, uh, something down towards 15 times earnings before we, uh, at least that's what history tells us. Every single bear market since World War II has gotten to at least 15 times earnings before it bottomed.